Hey guys, I'm Tommy, and first of all, I want to say thanks to my 8th grade art class for letting me make this video, uh, and also hi. So, um, basically I'm going to be drawing a um, self-portrait similar to how Chuck Close did it, uh, using the grid method, which is basically copying a picture onto on the paper, and you probably already see it through this, but still. And uh, I hope you have fun while doing this, and... Okay, here we go. Um... So first of all, you need a picture of yourself, and uh, uh, as you see, I've already put one inch by one inch squares on it, uh, and then, by the way, it hates me, and uh, so on this one, it's a big piece of paper, I put two inch by two inch squares, uh, to basically, like, scale this one up, and, like, sketch it out, uh, and you'd also need uh, uh, an eraser, but I prefer using a gum eraser, uh, but some people call it a kneadable eraser. Uh, you need some shading pencils, and you need a stump. You could also use a, a roller uh, if you want. Uh, that's how you draw the straight lines. I'm not going to show you how to do that because I've already, I already have that on. And you might also want to tape it down to the table because it moves around a lot, so it's easier to do it like this. But now, wait, you also need, uh, this sharpens it uh, better. See, yeah, I need this better, I guess, to sharpen it. Um, so now you have to, um, you have to do the outline, and I'd start at, like, 2B or something, wherever your, uh, where the, like, the top of your head is, and, uh, I basically trace it on this, but make it bigger so it would, like, fit the, fit the new grid. Uh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it off camera, and I'll show you how it turns out after this, because it's sort of hard to, um, do it while recording, so, I'll be back. Uh, hey guys, I just wanted to uh, get you guys uh, caught up to what I'm doing since like I didn't I didn't want to go from a blank sheet to like a uh, full sheet. Uh, so as you can see, I've basically like I've copied like what's what's going on in like these pictures, uh, and I've I've pretty much got it all down to like the hoodie. I'm I'm almost done with like this half. I just got to do the other half, and I just want you guys to get caught up on what I'm doing. So. I might have to change some stuff like the eye and the eyebrows because they look too small uh, or too long. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll get you guys uh, fully caught up in a few minutes or a few seconds. Hey guys, uh, for this part I actually I actually need my mom to hold the camera for me. Uh, and sorry, the lip sort of looks like Pennywise or something. Uh, but yeah, the teeth are pretty hard so I wanted to show you guys how. So I, I might mess up on this. But you don't you don't want to show like the lines because it sort of makes drawings look uh, bad I guess. That's what I was told. Uh, so yeah, you want to like start with the gums and then draw like these dark parts. I forgot what they're called. <laughs> Shadows. <clears throat> Teeth aren't the same for everyone, so you might want to, like, study, like, uh, how you look in your picture a lot. Uh, you might want to leave these empty until you get your shading pencils out, but that's basically how I would draw teeth, and I might fix it later because I don't like how it looks. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm gonna fix this.
Uh, hey guys. So now, uh, after I've after I've drawn the whole outline, uh, by the way, ignore this. I, I have to just shade the rest of it. Also, I realized I got a needable eraser. I didn't know. And okay. So for shading, basically you want to take a uh, sheet of paper, and as you see, I've done a lot of like scribbling uh, because you're gonna have to rub your finger uh, in it, and the darker it is, the better it'll. So now you just keep doing this until your finger gets all silver. Uh, and you just basically cover everything other than like the background. And it's it's not gonna look pretty until until you like start detailing it more, like with an eraser. So you just wanna cover this whole thing. I'm probably not gonna record doing this because it's gonna take a while. So, okay, guys, I'm back, and I just want to tell you guys what I've what I've done so far. It looks a lot different, but honestly, I've only like uh, rubbed my finger on on this uh, on this little pad that I made uh, by by smearing some charcoal pencils, and then rub my finger all over it, and then um, it it's not gonna it's not gonna look good uh, after that. So you gotta. Um, once you do that, you have to erase, uh, erase some stuff, and then uh, smear it in with your finger again. Uh, but again, this doesn't look so uh, so pretty because um, uh, it's sort of just for a video purpose. Uh, sorry if I say uh, a lot. Um, but yeah, that's basically what I've done so far, and I guess I could start working on the hair. Uh, hey guys, so now's. Uh, one of the hardest parts, and it's the hair. Since I have uh, different hair than probably most of you guys, this is probably going to be really hard, but you want to start by just uh, using your uh, what's called shading pencil to um, basically you get the rough outline uh, for it, and basically you just find the darkest parts or the parts where, your, uh, where most of your hair goes, and you follow it, but this might take a while for me because my hair is different, so there. Probably not going to be able to record this whole part because it's going to take a while. Okay, so I'm back, but I think I, I think I overdid a little bit of the line work, and uh, yeah. So whenever you do this, I, I want to tell you, uh, don't do too much. Uh, hang on, where's like, here's one of them that I did earlier. Uh, like, I did it earlier, and see, you don't want to overdo it. You just want to do it a little bit more like this and uh, like that. Okay, now I'll get back to the video. Okay, so, as I said before, I sort of went overboard with this part, but, um, basically for the, for this part, you have, well, as long as you already have, uh, like all the lines here, you have to use your stump, and, sorry if the sound is annoying, but you have to, like, basically cover all of it, because it, it makes it more, like, 3D, I guess, instead of, like, drawing every lock of hair, which would take years. So I'm just gonna do this part for the uh, for this, and then I'm gonna cut ahead. It's gonna take a while. It actually took an hour in school. You just wanna cover all the areas that have lines, and this probably won't end out as good as the one that I just showed you because that again. But anyway, that's how you wanna uh, start it up, and I'll show you how it is after. Okay, so I've I basically covered uh, this whole hair area with my stump, and then I erased where the uh, the light reflects on the hair. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot, but um, yeah. So you erase that and then smooth it out with your finger. I didn't do much of it because I mean I have to finish this video pretty soon. But yeah, you you guys know what I mean. So now I'm gonna compare it to the one I finished at school, so you guys can know what to do. Uh, 
here it is. It's more than actually finished and laminated. The background was because uh, I was in a I was in a brick hallway. But uh is, there, is the light reflecting on it? Yeah. So I dipped it up. Okay. Uh so yeah, I mean the hoodie I didn't do on this because we all have different shirts probably. And it'd be harder for you guys to figure out what to do with yours. But yeah, I mean I mean it looks pretty good compared to uh, the school one, and I might actually get the one that I just did laminated. So, yeah. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed and/or uh, found this useful. I honestly like how this uh, picture turned out, and I really hope you guys have fun while making yours. Uh, so I want to say again, thank you, Miss Taylor, for uh, letting me make this video for you guys, and go nights. Uh, okay, so okay, so 